So when you go to an interview, you're probably going to be asked some questions. In fact, you know that you are going to be asked some questions and you probably won't know the answer to every single one and you won't know exactly which questions will be asked but it's useful to develop some kind of elevator pitch that describes three things who you are what you do and what you want and we're going to go over some commonly asked questions that if you have answers to will probably cover most of what the interviewer is really looking for and understanding, are you the person that they want to hire? So most common question that the interview begins with is, tell me about yourself. And in this case, you can talk about your hobbies, personal interests. You can maybe showcase your personality a little bit to make the interview more interesting. And it's best that you prepare this one a little bit more because it's so broad and it's kind of vague and there's so many things that will be included in this question it's best if you just cherry pick a few things that you're w interested and willing to share and that shows that you are confident about yourself the second question is why do you want this job why are you an honest fit for the position what would you accomplish if you were hired this question is a chance to point out to the interviewer what you've got to supply the company with success and what would you achieve if you actually got the job and you can point out to the interviewer what you recognize about the work and therefore the company and you can take time beforehand to investigate the company and this gives you a chance to show that you did your homework and you know what the company is about you know who works for the company you may even want to connect with the interviewer in this question and number three why should we hire you? What's in, what's in it for us? So you want to be confident and concise in this case. And it, generally it's good to be confident in all of the questions that are asked of you. And effectively, this is your focused sales talk. And you can explain what you've got to provide and you can go over your qualifications and how they match the company's goals and they match the company's progress and and they help the company and the people there solve their issues or their challenges and you can illustrate why you are the applicant to help bring all of these benefits and now we're going to get a little bit uh, more vulnerable at this point and with question four it might not seem quite so obvious but in this case the question is what is your greatest strength now it's good to kind of show instead of tell at this point and if you're just getting too uh, abstract or something like that you've got to really give them a picture give them a story so they can connect really quickly and you can look through your history or maybe even some of your previous job opportunities or your previous uh, education experience you can talk about what your strengths are and this is one of the questions that employers nearly always ask to see if you're qualified for the position next one this is the true vulnerable one it's the opposite of, of number four this is what is your greatest weakness and this is question is a chance to point out to the hiring manager that you're well qualified for the work it might sound a little contradictory but it the way you answer it is is key so in addition to learning whether you have the proper credentials the recruiting manager wants to understand whether you'll combat the challenges and learn new tasks. So your weaknesses might have been your comprehension of a particular program that was created and you wanted to start a writing project, but no one was really interested in it. So you weren't really good at leadership and you you're explaining that this was an issue in the past and you've taken classes or you've talked with your supervisor, you've talked with your manager to help give you direction and guidance in the past. And you can also share samples of skills that you've improved, uh, providing specific instances of how you've recognized a weakness. I recognized a weakness because I asked for feedback and I was open to constructive feedback. So it's kind of taking a positive spin on something that could potentially be seen as negative and would might be a deal breaker if you don't know what you're doing all right moving on to number six why did you leave your last job and this is again another vulnerable question 
And you need to be prepared for this one. As all the other questions, you need some preparation. And this one is key, especially if it was a difficult uh, circumstance that the, for the reason why you left. So again, you'll need to on, offer a solution that's honest and reflects your specific circumstances. And just like the question number five, you wanna keep it positive. Even if you quit under challenging circumstances, it's not the best time to share what might be construed as too much information. Also, don't make your employer look bad because that might, they, makes them think, well, when you leave us, what are you gonna say about us? So that's bad PR, bad public relations. The interview wants to know why you left your last job and why you would like to work for his or her company. So when asked why you're moving from your current position, persist with the facts and be direct. And you know, focus your answer on the long term, like what are your goals, your aspirations? And um, you could also talk about how you need to be challenged or you need to um, find an environment that really fits your skills, your attributes and you do X, Y, and Z to make sure that that is the highest possible chance. But if it's not met by the company, then you'll leave. So you can kind of make yourself come off as desirable. And if you left because your the last job wasn't challenging enough, you can even talk about that. Again, the next one, a little more vulnerable, it's how do you handle stress and pressure? And do you work well? Do you thrive in these, in these situations? Or do you want more of a predictable, low-key, job where you're told what to do and you have a lot of hand-holding. So the best way to answer this question is to share an example of how you successfully handled stress during a previous position. So again, with the storytelling, be specific. Talk about a situation. I was able to handle the pressure of learning a new skill, such as a technical presentation for a new software program or a new program in a human resources department and I was able to find videos really fast online. I was able to practice it, and I was able to get feedback from the best people. Uh, you avoid claiming that you simply never or rarely experience stress. Stress, that's not true. You don't experience stress, then you're dead. Everyone experiences stress in some way. You want to acknowledge the workplace stress and explain how you've overcome it. And moving on to the final question, which is looking towards the future. Uh, what are your goals? What are your goals for the future? Are you a job hopper? Are you planning on sticking around for a while? Are you loyal? Uh, this definitely helps lower the risk for the company or at least the perceived risk. And they might look at your job history or have it available at the interview and they'll see, do you kind of skip around? You don't have a long history at other companies. So the quiz question is really meant to see if you're going to stick around. Keep your answer focused on the work and therefore the company and really reiterate to the interviewer that the position aligns together with your long-term goals and you are going to do your best to make it work. So remember, these questions aren't guaranteed to be answered. Of course, as you know, every interview is different and every candidate for a job is different. But many of these questions if you answer them and you investigate them, will give you a lot of the appropriate preparation to thrive and exceed and come out a top candidate uh, from your interview. So just to review, you want to understand the following. What you want to say about yourself. Why you want the job. What is your top strength and greatest weakness? Why did you leave your last job? And how do you handle stress and pressure? and what are your goals for the future. So I hope that gave you a better idea of what to think about as far as questions an, interview, an interviewer will ask you. Good luck.